So today I'm going to be trying out a new Pizza Hut melt. The flavor is cheesesteak. So I think it has some type of sirloin steak, whatever that is. Um, onions and green peppers. I would have liked to have you know, seen maybe more items inside of it. But maybe the flavor is that good that it just doesn't even matter. So here we go. Oh, uh, This was $6.99 by the way. So as you can see it comes with um, some ranch dip it looks like if you're into that. And there is the food. So, looking pretty nice. Um, again, I, I covered this in the, the last video I went when I went to Pizza Hut to get the melts. The melts are smaller than they originally were quite a while ago. But they're still decent size, seven bucks. Pretty decent still. Okay. I'm not sure why, but this really tastes like gyro meat to me. It's probably just because it's seasoned a lot, or you know, maybe a certain way. But let you know, let's give it a shot. So, a lot of cheese, you know, Parmesan on this side, and then on this side it's kind of just you know a side. Um, but hey, something is better than nothing. Okay. If I open it up here for you, you can see there's a good amount of green pepper, a decent amount of uh, meat, not, not a crazy amount, but I think the signature part of this dish is honestly, if you notice that white stuff, it's not just normal cheese. They have what is called a creamy garlic parmesan sauce. And that's what I think is the selling point for this. And one thing I want to note, because I noted on the Papa John's videos, this creamy garlic um, parmesan sauce does not just taste like butter. I think that's a very important thing. It tastes like what it should, garlic parmesan. And that actually makes it taste pretty good. To me, this tastes more like a quesadilla, where you don't expect much filling to it, but there's a certain type of flavor you're trying to get. Um, I think the other melts used to have a lot more inside of them, um, and I don't know if this could have been just today's prepare. There's not very much to it, right? It's just the, the meat, green pepper, and onions. Um, so personally, I'd like to see more meat in it, but you're getting two halves, so like four or seven dollars, I think it's pretty good. I think the creamy sauce is working out very well, actually. You know, it's almost like an Alfredo sauce. And the kind of thickness that it is where it's not too dense and it's like a paste. But it's just some, some addition, some flavor added to it. Or like a... Yeah, it's not a Caesar, obviously, but... Something's reminding me of Caesar. Maybe the Parmesan part. But yeah, I think it, it tastes pretty good. Let's check out the other half. Yeah, so it's still kind of the same. A decent amount of green pepper coming in. Um, a line of meat. Let me try this ranch sauce. See what it's about. The first ingredient is soybean oil. I've been told by a lot of people that it's impossible to escape this thing. You can cut out, you know, this and that and that, but soybean oil is apparently one of the hardest things. I don't really know what it is. Um, I guess let me know if you know what it is and maybe why it's so bad. I'm just going to try a little bit of this ranch. It 
I mean, it tastes like ranch. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so if you like ranch and steak, I don't know if that's a combo people do, but you would like it. Okay. I think it tastes great. Um, it's not too hard, not too soft, doesn't you know, fall apart. I think it's a, a pretty decent move. If you like sauce food, I think you'll like this. Because the, the sauce inside and the actual you know um, seasoning on the outside, I think it works well together. I'm not tasting butter, you know, just straight out the wang, which is good. Um, the, what these things really taste like, you know, for the most part is, you know, it's flat, the flatbread pizza from Pizza Hut, but I stopped getting their flatbreads a long time ago because those did taste like a hefty amount of butter. This seems like it is the flatbread, but not that overarching butter. Maybe they just kind of, you know, changed their style and maybe their flatbreads are, you know, old style now, just kind of a flavor, not a butter flavor. And this just resembles that. I don't know. I haven't tried it in a few years. Um, but I like this. I think it, it's a pretty nice sandwich. If that's like you're just, you're just going out to get a sandwich, um, you know, obviously you should probably go to a place that actually has cheese steaks. You'll get a roll instead of you know some uh, not super quality breading. I don't know what to call this. Like I said, it's kind of like a quesadilla. They just put a tortilla or whatever, and then they flatten it and then they grill it with whatever's inside. But this is only seven bucks. If you go to try to get a cheesesteak, it could be like twelve or thirteen, right? So you, you win some, you lose some battles. Um, but that's gonna be it for the review. I think it's a pretty good sandwich for what it is. Um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you like a bunch of the videos, leave a subscribe and um, leave a comment down below. What is soybean oil? Um, but yeah, if you like the video, have a great day. If you don't like the video, have a great day.